Once you acknowledge that fibroids are an issue, you've had it diagnosed. Dr. Ashton mentioned there are a lot of different treatments. Cynthia, you had one particular type of pre treatment and joining us now is the interventional radiologist who performed an embolization procedure on Cynthia's fibroids, Dr. John Lippman. And as an interventional radiologist, you perform one type of procedure to basically cut off blood supply to these fibroids. How does that work? In right. Well, it's a non-surgical procedure, as you say, performed by interventional radiologists. We gain access to the body through a little nick in the skin, less than the width of your pinky. And we negotiate a catheter over a guide wire under x-ray guidance. There's a uterine artery on each side that supplies the uterus with blood supply. And those, that uterine artery branches like branches of a tree. Mm -hmm. And it keeps branching, getting smaller and smaller till you get out to the leaves. Well, the fibroids are the leaves. And I can flow direct tiny particles to cut the blood supply off to every fibroid in the uterus. So a woman can come in, but it's a 45 minute procedure. Patients go home the same day with a Band-Aid. Mm -hmm. And so the fibroids without a blood supply will soften and shrink. And as they do, a woman's symptoms disappear. And importantly, she gets to keep her uterus, right. which is exactly. huge. Right. Well, and my, question, my, question, my question to you is yeah. this, though. That's, that's important, very important, absolutely, compared to the old days when they just took the uterus out. My question to you is, when is someone not a candidate for this? When are other procedures or other options, you know? Almost any person that has been told they have symptomatic uterine fibroids and is a candidate for hysterectomy is a candidate for embolization, but you need to go to a, a very experienced very, professional radiologist. Very. And, and here's the most important thing for, for women listening at home is they're gonna see their gynecologist about this problem. They're not gonna knock on an interventional radiologist door. So when your gynecologist goes over options with you, he or she should be going over every option, not just the one that the gynecologist as a surgeon can offer you, number one. Mm -hmm. And UAE or embolization is still not currently recommended recommended for women who have not had babies or who want to continue reproduction. At this point, we've gotten a lot of great data. It's been around for many, many years. It's a well-established procedure. But again, you want to have the interventional radiologist work hand in hand with the gynecologist together. And how was your procedure, Cynthia? Did, it, did you have a lot of pain afterwards? Or you... um, it was definitely bearable. I was like up and ready to go back to work. How long did it take for it to shrink? Before? Uh, it's been about four months now, and uh, I, inst I mean, I felt better probably a week later, nice. just from even having the surgery. I just felt like the light was coming back inside my body. I was like, you know, being reborn so, or something. Yeah, you Crazy. are, I think, a shining example of shedding light on such an important topic that we haven't probably talked enough about on the show. Thank you yeah. for doing that for us and for okay. our viewers. You look fabulous. You can catch Cynthia on the Real Housewives of Atlanta thank Sundays you. at 8, 7 Central on Bravo. Dr. Lemon, thank you as well thank for you. joining us today. Thanks,